Hexen Tom here, and welcome back to SP10 Breach Ultimate Edition. Now, oh, but, 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 don't pick that up. So, last episode. Why is the ominous music playing? Oh, because this is open. Okay, that's, that's fine. Let's close that. Get rid of the ominous music. It's still playing. Okay, so last episode we put that thing in our mouth and died. Apparently, anything that. Oh. Wait, what? Oh no, you're joking. We're still dying. Why are we still dying? We haven't even got it. Yeah, that's getting worse. Uh, what, what if I drink this? Nope. It just makes a... Uh, satisfied solid snake from Metal Gear Solid sound. No, wait. Big boss from Metal Gear Solid 3, actually. We're still dying, apparently. I don't know why. Uh, anyway... Basically, what I was going to say is I found out what this SCP is. Apparently, any kind of water that it touches becomes immediately invisible. And because of that, uh, if you put it in your mouth, it makes you choke. Because I'm going to have to start a new game. Like, literally, there's nothing I can do about this. Um, I'll carry on talking, though. Basically, if you put it in your mouth, um, it stops the reflex in your throat. Which, normally when you drink a glass of water or any kind of liquid, your throat automatically recognises that, hey, this is like water, this doesn't need, this shouldn't go to the lungs, this should go to the stomach, so, but because of the SCP, that doesn't happen, so it goes straight into your lungs and you end up drowning eventually, or technically suffocating, or, I don't know, one, either way, you die from respiratory issues with your lungs, but yeah, so that's what that does, I mean, it's literally right there, which is... Um, it's typical that it would come up now. But, uh, yeah, we have to start a new game because we were dead. I, I guess as soon as you open that, you die because it touched my sweat and I don't know. I don't know why we died. But we did. So, there was there was nothing I could do there. So, new game. Uh, oh, he's looking up. He's looking up. He's, he, things are looking up. Haha, <laughs> get it? No, probably not. It's a terrible joke. Um, <laughs> so, oh. Did we get the same seed? I don't know. Also, yes, okay, it's different. It's di oh, will we make it? Oh, yes, we will. Okay, so this is the room last episode where I was like, "Am I going insane?" I swear I've already walked past the gas mask room. No, turns out uh, it was SCP-447, which I don't know what that is. So I want to see what that is as well. Uh, for the sake of quickness, I know I said I was going to not use it commands or anything like that. But at the end of the day, it is a mod and not an official, like, run-through, whatever. So, I why am I so far over here? My keyboard feels like miles away. Let me just put it towards me a bit. Uh, let's do, uh, what do we need? Spawn item, uh, level 5 key card. Very nice. Okay, so first of all, I want to see what all these are. I don't know if we're going to die immediately. Um... I think. Wait, wait till this. Please, be quiet, game. Okay, there's no ominous music at the minute, so I think we're safe. So I'm going to save here, and then we're going to go in. I think 1033 RU is the ring that you put on and become invincible. Yes, it is. Okay, so we've seen that already. So what is uh, what was the other level five one we couldn't look at? It wasn't that? I did. I do want to pick that up though because. What? Oh, okay. A full 106 spawn. I was like, no. <laughs> Not now, please. Um, there was another room that said it needed level 4. I don't remember what it was. Uh, if we pick this up, something might start happening. So, you know what? I'll pick this up. You detained SP-357 in your hand. Uh, that does nothing. So, I think... It's called Hungry Clay. So, I'm assuming it starts eating us, maybe. But um, I'm going to carry it around and see what happens. Okay, this is an experimental episode. So, what is SCP... Four, four, seven. Oh, there's a viewing room. Very nice. Okay, let's have a little view first. Okay, I'm not liking the ominous red light. Slightly worrying. Oh, it's uh, someone took a shit and called it an SCP. That's a late. That is a lazy, a lazy janitor right there. They just. What the fuck was that noise? Uh. You know, they, they just took a shit on the floor and to, to save cleaning it cleaning it up, they're just like, you know, oh, it's an SCP, just build a room around it. Okay, 447, what we got? Uh, a green sphere approximately 5 centimeters in diameter with a spongy surface texture. I just heard a clap. 
All right, 173 here. He's arse cheeks. We can hear them. Uh, a weight of 1.37 kilograms. The object is warm to the touch, approximately the same temperature as the human body. Although its core temperature is slightly higher. Oh, sorry, that's a common, not a full stop. It's, uh, it's hard to see. Are we dying? The clay is devouring my face. Please, I need to read this. Okay. Uh, SP447, you uh, come into contact with a dead body. No, wait, sorry. Uh, oh, God. I've gone too far down. Uh, uh, where am I? Okay. Uh, personnel handling SCP-4471 have reported no adverse effects as long as SCP-441 does not come in contact with a dead body. Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. Okay, I don't know if this will work. I don't actually know if we're supposed to pick it up or not, but I'm going to pick it up. Wait, can we pick it up? No. Oh! What the fuck? I think the clay just took a chunk out of me. I'm curious to see, like... Oh, we can pick it up. Oh, there we go. There we go. We can pick... Oh, we said... Oh, it's that. They've just made it, like... Make more sense. Okay. Um, the clay is gradually eating us. We are about to become... Uh, a work of art. Probably. Or we're just gonna die. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I can't see anything, so neither can you, I'm imagining. But, um... I'm gonna try and figure this out. Real quick before we die. What is in here? What is this? Oh, it's the wall. Oh, there we go. We can eat, we can drink this and heal up. Bam! That did nothing, other than play us some big boss satisfied eating sounds. Okay, well, this was interesting. We're gonna die. Oh god! Oh god! It is very hard to see where I'm going. I'm gonna keep going until we die. I want to see. Uh, I want to see what's going to happen. Are we going to become a, an absolute an absolute unit of clay? Who knows? Who knows? Please. Oh, man. This is hurting my eyes. <laughs> I mean, and they already hurt because I was up late as hell last night. I went to a Post Malone concert at the O2. It was fucking sick. But we didn't get into one in the morning. And then I was like, I need a bath because people spilt... You can't move your fingers. I got in at uh, like 1am and I was like, I need a bath because people spilt beer on me from behind. And also because I was jumping around going fucking crazy for like two hours, I was very sweaty. So I had beer all over my back and I was extremely sweaty. I was like, I need a bath. So I had a bath and by the time that was done, it was like half past one and then I couldn't sleep. So yeah, I went to sleep at like 3am and then got up at seven to take my sister's kids to school for her. And it just, yeah, worth it. It was worth it. Fucking such a good show. I'm not going to go on too much about the Post Malone show because I, I don't know, you know, I just, it was just really, really good. And I'm, if I keep talking about it, I'm going to end up waffling on for the rest of the entire video about specifically how good it was and probably repeat myself about 20 times. So, TLDR, <laughs> it was fucking sick. I would definitely recommend going and I definitely want to go again at some point. We can't move. Um, that's worrying. I've become a clay man. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're a statue now. <gasps> We've become 173. Never mind, we're dead. <laughs> well, there you go. SCP, uh, sorry, subject D9341 found dead in sector redacted without right hand. Probably subject had physical contact with SCP-357. Probably. I would imagine. But who knows? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. You know what? Let's just carry on. Let's just carry on. Yeah, I don't know. There might be some new rooms. We can go straight to the heavy zone. I mean, we have to unlock it first by going to the security room. But, um... But, yeah, we can, uh... Have a little wander around. Oh. Do you know... I know I said I wasn't going to say much about the Post Malone concert. But do you know what the craziest thing was? One of my, uh, old friends from primary school is in his crew. Like, how fucking crazy is that? He, uh... He used to do all the lighting and stuff for the shows at school, like the stage lighting. And then he started freelancing and then kind of just started doing some jobs in theatres. And then he ended up, like, doing lighting for, like, Kylie Minogue. And now he does lighting for Post Malone. <laughs> so, there's that. And it's not like he's, like, an extra on the crew, but he's with, like, the actual crew. He has his own bed on the tour bus 
and regularly spends time with Post Malone and the rest of the crew. It's like, it's fucking crazy that, like, like, how? <laughs> how did he get into that job? Well, we asked him that, and he said it just kind of happened. You know, one job led to another, and then eventually, you know, people just ring you up like, do you want to do this job? And it happened. So, but I was like, holy shit. <laughs> and when he saw on Facebook that we was going to see Post Malone, he was like, oh yeah, I'm on his crew, we should meet up and have a catch up. So we did, and it was very nice. We was in a bar for like three hours, catching up, reminiscing about when we was five, and he was at my birthday party with the magician. <laughs> also, he used to be really small, and now he's like a foot taller than me, which is, you know... So not only is he taller than me, he also is part of Post Malone's tour crew on the tour bus. And they've already been to like nine different countries and he's been to all of them. And he may or may not have smoked weed with Post Malone multiple times at this point. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty crazy. So that was crazy. Then the actual show was crazy. But you know, you know what? Yeah, that's that sums it up. It was crazy. It was really good and really crazy. I would recommend going, and I definitely want to go again at some point. I wanted to go again tonight. <laughs> I was like, how much are the tickets? Can we go again tonight? But it was like £200. I was like, eh, I don't really have £200 to spend to go see a show that's going to be exactly the same as last night. <laughs> so I gave that one a miss for now. What is 178? That's the glasses. And then we got 198, 109, 215. What is... Hold up. Hold up. Oh yeah, that's the cup that you can never put down. And then this is the the glasses. And then, okay, yes, that's fine. That's fine. But yeah, it was an insane night. I enjoyed it very much. But anyway, back to SCP. We've got, I don't know why I picked this up. And I don't know why I'm still carrying these. We literally have the level 5 and the gas mask. And that's all we're ever going to need. So I don't know. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, man. I'm like... What are we doing right now? Finding the security room. There we go. That's what we're doing. I had to think for a second. I got off track. I was like, what am I actually doing? <laughs> we got there in the end. We remembered. Oh, another quick side note. Post Malone is a very nice man. <laughs> I didn't meet him. But um, he was saying thank you after every single song. And I feel like that's not something that everyone does. And he like pulls to give a speech about how he's so grateful that we're like, you know, we've made his dream come true and stuff and I was like damn that is wholesome as fuck <laughs> plus I saw him like I didn't actually find Post Malone because of his music I found him because I was watching the H3H3 podcast well actually no he was in videos I think first but regardless I was watching H3H3 videos and he ended up um, you know he's friends with Post Malone so he was in a video and I was like, oh, this guy's pretty cool. He seems nice. And then he was on the podcast. And I was like, oh, this guy's really cool. He's like really, he's funny, whatever. And then I was like, they was like, oh, yeah, because you just blow up because of White Iverson. I was like, oh, that's the dude that sung White Iverson. I love that song. And then I started looking at all his other music. And then it went from there. And now I just like fucking listen to all his stuff. And obviously I went to the concert. And it's, I'm his number one fan, okay, basically. So post, hit me up. Because <laughs> he definitely watches these videos. You know he's a big SCP fan. Alright, so we got the code, which is 6704. Thank you to everyone who commented the code for the last episode, but that's now gone because the game decided, hey, even though you didn't pick this SCP up, you're still going to die. So there's that. Alright, so we got the code. I think that's the only thing we needed from that direction. Now we can just go and find the uh, the security room, and then once we got that done, then we can go and see if there's any new Heavy Zone stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if there's any Heavy Zone stuff, but we're going to find out. And I might, I might as well just keep hold of this level 5 key card. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like we're doing like an official speed run or anything like that. So it's like, we're just trying to find the mod content, you know. When it, when it all comes down to it, the point of this is to show you the mod content. I feel like I say that every time I play a mod. And it's a valid excuse, okay. If you don't like it, then I mean, well, there's not really much I can do about that. So, just fuck me, I guess. But well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, okay. Hey, there we go. Security room. Open, please. Here we go. I don't think 049 is any different. He might be a little bit faster, but I'm not actually sure. But we need to get spotted by him anyway, because otherwise the door doesn't open. So I'm going to wait till he's past us, let him see us, then run away. Holy shit, it is hot in here. 
Oh, it's only like 10 degrees outside, but my room, I've had the window shut all day and I probably shouldn't have because I've had like a laptop going, the computer's been on, I've had the Xbox going. Oh. Watched the new Avengers trailer earlier, so that made me really sweaty and excited. <laughs> Come on, go past. And bonjour. Whoa, that was a, oof. He's quick on his feet. <laughs> Instant turnaround. That man would break some ankles if he played basketball. Oh, man. All right. We hopefully should be good to go. This this should be a heavy zone. No? You think she would learn? That would have been very hilarious if I had died. <laughs> if I was like, you think she would learn? And then drop dead from the Tesla gate. Like, hmm. <laughs> but no, I'm too good. You'll never get me Tesla gate. And neither will you, Bear. Get out of my face. Oh, you want you want a cheeky uh you want a you want a 720, yeah. 360 would was not enough for him. Decontamination, decontamination complete. Just set you just decontamination complete sets you on fire. It's like, oh well I mean you're not wrong. <laughs> Definitely decontaminated. Okay, so we need, we're looking for a door on the oh, that is not gonna be any good. I was I was about to go and then realise we had no sprint. Um, I heard that. I heard it. I thought I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was hiding there. You can't even send him down anymore. You used to be able to send him away, but Naris is like, the lift's already on this floor, and it's like, yeah, I know, but like, kind of like reach my arm around and just press the button. <laughs> like, just get rid of him, please. Oh shit. I don't know where zero four nine is, and I don't have the ring. <laughs> oh fuck. Hello? No, okay. I thought I, I thought I heard footsteps other than my own. Ah, oh, fuck, I've gone backwards. Ah! Oh, God. Please, I can't be getting lost already. It's like technically the first episode of this run. Oh, this is backwards. No, no, it isn't backwards. No, this is not backwards at all. I did see my screen go a bit blurry there, so I'm a bit, a bit worried about that in case he's just like going to pop out of one of these rooms and start clapping his ass cheeks at me, but... Okay, yeah, 100% he is in here. Yep, there he is. Hop, there he is. Okay, you know what? There's no way you can pick that up without him killing us, so... Bye. Okay. We've gone backwards again! Oh, is there any way out of this madness? I don't think there is. Why is this not open? It closed itself. Well, I was going to make a joke about a certain medicine, but I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's like, it's a pink medicine. I think you drink it for heartburn. I was going to make a joke that he spilled it on himself, but it's kind of ruined because I don't remember the name. So, you know, let's just go with silly man spilled thing on self. Ha ha ha. Laugh and press like, please. <laughs> please laugh at my joke. I spent all, all the past minute setting it up. All right, heavy zone. All right, well, I guess we'll we'll keep going. I mean, ah, uh, oh god, I think we might have to go to the lizards. I, I don't think there's any way out of this. I literally don't think there's any other way out of this. Okay, wait, wait, he's here, right? Which means we probably haven't been this way. Which means this could be the way we have to go. Yes, okay. I'm going to grab this because I don't fancy running away from 106 for 500 years until he disappears. Hey, that rammed. Very nice. This is now a uh, rhyming and rapping channel because of that. Get used to it. Wait. <gasps> we have a minute. Hey, it's a different dude again. This one's lips have disappeared. Very nice. Alright, yeah, we're definitely in a different place, which is very good because I didn't want to go down to the lizards. No way. Hey, here we go. Bear. We've been through this, okay? Get 360'd, son. There's no need for it. There's no need for you to keep coming back. Just to get knocked away, you know? Alright. Heavy zone. Oh, two of them in a row, eh? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Not today, my old son. My old chestnut. He's still there! 
He's disappeared. Okay, that actually genuinely made me almost shit myself. I think if I didn't already go and take a shit before this video, it would have just happened. And I wouldn't have been able to stop it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, it's a dead end. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Fuck, no, let me go. Let me go, yeah, yeah, there we go. Another one of these rooms. With the, with the dummy thick pipe on the left, I like it. Okay, maintenance room that goes nowhere. Wait, 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 wait. Does it go somewhere now? No, still nowhere. Okay, that's fine. This is... A tasty burger. No, uh, that's... Goes down to the new tunnels. I mean, they're not new. I've seen them before. I mean, new is in, like, new in this mod. So we don't really need to go down there. Oh, I do need to be... Here, though... Why did that happen? Oh, there's... Yep, that's why that happened. That's why that... There's a zombie. You know what? No! That... I just didn't know what to do. I panicked. I genuinely just let go of everything. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, that scared the shit out of me. I didn't know... I actually just had a full-on panic of like... Fuck, where do I go? There's a zombie there and... He... I had the ring! Oh, what am I doing? The ring, Frodo. Ah, uh, shit. I should have done the opposite of Frodo and let the ring consume me. But I mean, he kind of did do that at the end, and then he gets his finger bit. Anyway, you, you get the point. I have the ring, and I could have put it on, but I didn't, and we're dead. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We're not on keto mode, so whatever. Uh, what did that description say? It says something in about no evil. Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to die to 049 on purpose next time and see what it says. Because I think it might have said something different. But, um, yeah. That is going to be it for today. Hopefully I didn't waffle on too long about the whole Post Malone thing. But I've, that's, I've never been to a concert before. <laughs> and that was the first ever one I had been to. And uh, not only have I never been to a concert before. I also hadn't seen that particular friend for about five, six years. Because the last time I saw him was in the last year of school. Which was of it was in like 2012, so yeah, five years. Damn, no, sorry, no, what am I talking about? Five years, shit, man. I'm living in the past. It's, fuck, I'm getting old. I don't like it. No, that's um, nine, uh, it's eight, years, seven years. Fucking old time. Get good at maths, man. Seven years. Damn, that's a long time. But uh, yeah, quick little funny story. He showed me a picture just before the show. Post Malone apparently bought three British Army tanks just because he wanted them. And they were parked around the back of the O2 and he's getting them shipped back to America. I don't know if that was a secret or not. I hope not because now it's in this video. He didn't tell me not to tell anyone. So yeah, there you go. Just a funny little thing. Imagine being able to buy free tanks just because you wanted them. Like, <laughs> shit man. He's got some money. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. So... Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and leave a comment down below or subscribe to the channel for more videos. Any of that stuff is massively appreciated. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.